Maybe your girl will shed a tear. I guess we'll see once we actually read this book. <laughs> and today I'm here with my September TBR. If you guys have been on my channel for a couple of months now, you know that my mom actually picks my TBR. It's like a fun little game for her. And she always has some system that she uses in order to pick the five books. So this month's system is all blue books and there's a very special reason for that. So about two years ago my mom and I made an original book tag called the birthstone book tag and since September's birthstone is sapphire she decided that all of the books were going to be blue so that she could shamelessly plug our book tag. So if you guys want you guys should totally uh, do the birthstone book tag and make her really happy and she'll be a little ecstatic little bug so. So without further ado let Let's get started. The first book that she chose is A Discovery of Witches by Deborah Harkins and she actually loves this book so that's why she chose it originally. I honestly don't know that much about it other than there's this girl named Diana and she finds a book in a library and she's a descendant of the witches and this book is like a um, witch manuscript or something like that. My mom says that it's a really good story so. The next book that she chose is Stealing Snow and this is by Daniel Page. I don't know all that much about it either other than it is a retelling of the Snow Queen and you know your girl loves herself some fairy tale retellings so I'm actually really excited about this one and it's also been on my shelf for like a million years so it should probably be read at some point this year. The next book that she chose actually sounds pretty interesting to me. I'm kind of excited about it but it's called False the Shadow and it's by Stephanie Gaither and it's about this girl named Kate whose sister dies and then the next day her parents go and pick up her sister's clone and then things get a little bit interesting because this new clone of her sister ends up murdering the most popular girl in school. I'm intrigued. We like a stabby stabby book. I'm kind of thinking that it's not going to be very good though because I got it from the dollar store for $1.50 like three years ago. I mean, we'll see if it's actually good or not, but I don't really have the highest hopes for it. But it sounds kind of cool, so we'll see. The next book that she picked out was Lost and Found by Brooke Davis, and this follows a seven-year-old named Millie whose mother abandons her in a department store and just never comes back. And so she ends up going on this bus, train, tube, whatever this is called in London. Tube? I don't know. But she meets an old lady and an old man and they go on this adventure in order to try to find Millie's mom. I'm thinking it's like a coming of age story, not 100% sure, but sounds cute. It says that it's both hilarious and devastating, so. And then the final book that she chose for the month of September TBR is Midwinter Blood by Mons Kallentoft and this is translated from Swedish, but it's like a detective thriller novel about a man who's found naked in a tree hanged there. The detective named Malin Fors has to investigate why this man is in the tree and then shit goes down. But that's really all I know about it. Thrillers are my shit so hopefully we like this thriller but I like the cover. It's kind of creepy. It looks like he's like stuck under ice. So I know it's set in winter so it'll help me with the emojiathon TBR. Oh shameless plug everybody do the emojiathon that is from september 1st to the end of september so you should all participate all right guys so that was my september tbr i'm definitely going to probably have another tbr up for my emojiathon challenges and whatnot i'll probably have a couple more tbrs up this month for emojiathon i'm thinking of doing one every week and trying to complete five books every week for the bingo board probably will not happen since school is starting on the 6th. We can pretend that your girl's gonna do a lot of reading, okay? Let me know down below if you guys are participating in Emojiathon and also what you plan on reading for the month of September and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!